pitää nähdä siinä. Hey, I'm Emmy. Hello, Emmy. And what do you want this time? Mm, something very special. Very special. And blonde. <laughs> and blonde, of course. Yeah. Okay, because it's springtime in Holland. Will you tune for you and the rest of the world and show what you have now? Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, as always, uh, I start with protection. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remain the asymmetrical lines, but I will make two of it, and uh, the side will be ultra short, the color of her hair will be ultra platinum blonde, and afterwards you may say what you think of it. Sounds good. Oh, it sounds <laughs> good, man. Okay, I wet it a little bit, not too much, just to see what we have. This length I will make remain, the, the angle of the asymmetrical line will be stronger, it will two times come back, so that's what I'm going to do. I set out the line, the short part and the longer part, we will make uh, it into an asymmetrical line, so I'm going to work in the same line. I'm going to end in, set up my first line. Get rid of all the old colors that are <laughs> left in there. And because it will be ultra platinum blonde, there has to be a little bit hair on it because otherwise she looks bald. <laughs> and one of us bald is more than enough. I use my Kiona scissor, uh, the, this, the 7 is a classic scissor. The nice thing about a, a large scissor is that it's very stable in your hand. So it gives you a stable feeling. And I'm working from the side so I'm not um, in position where I normally are as a hairdress because you are uh, at home watching where I should be watching so sometimes when you think there's a hesitation or some some movements that are not correct that is because I'm not able to sit in front of my work sitting on the sides lay the hair over the line I just cut Take off the overhanging lengths. Connecting the line. Nou, it's a grappig wat je allemaal. Uh, Mag verklaren als je kapper bent op YouTube. Dingen waar je normaal niet bij stil staat, nee. Nee. Ja. Het is best lastig als je vrije technieken hebt, dan is dat best lastig. Ja, ja dat natuurlijk ook nog. Jij werkt niet altijd volgens de kapperschool. Nee. nee. So good. Yeah. So you want to shake around the long hair? Hmm. If you are used to short hair, it feels so nice when it's short again. This all I do in a freehand style. So no pinning away of hair. 
just leave it the way it is. Two the other parts that I do with the clipper. It's still working with my comb. Setting the hairs straight out because otherwise you get a other angle where you're working in and you get different lengths. So my comb is always pushing on the hair in the way I want them so they get straight out. Using my clipper as a comb, leaning on the skin. Again, use my clipper as a comb and the angle I set out in this way I use in the opposite line in the neckline to create more difference This side will be above the ear to the front and that's the same angle as this one because this angle is the same one as this angle. I'm wetting there, as you can see with the natural folders and the angle of this side will be above the ear to the front and that's the same angle as this one because this angle is the same one as this angle. Get them on my net this. Now I part the hair a little bit, not too much. Set my scissor in the same angle as I have on the back. And go to the place where I want to go. And now I work with a Kio and a Cobalt. It's five and a half. And work this line straight out because I have to get a strong line. Watch where the hairs come on the ear and connect them. Clean the skin from the small hairs. And I free the ear. Hey. <laughs> I can hear, I can hear. Oh my god, it's a wonder. <laughs> Now, maybe there can be wonders here because we are uh, a site of the Lourdes uh, church, <laughs> but not from uh, the real Lourdes church. It's a Dutch version of it. But we have a Lourdes church <laughs> with a cave, with a Maria in it. Okay. This line will be uh, about. Uh, half centimeter wrong so I have more volume and again I come to the ear part later in the natural fall don't force anything and cut away the length I don't need I 
I mean, was in New York for how many days? For a week. And how, how long are you back? Uh, for a day, not even a day. Oh, okay. <laughs> so she has sliced jet lag. <laughs> but it doesn't matter if I can no. get my hair cut. <laughs> Yeah, it's always good to be in New York. Mm, it is. Oops. Okay, going to the last line. Just take off the ends at the front, or the set in, in the beginning of this video. Just take off the ends of the hair. And now I created the same angle here as I created here. Lay the last hairs on in a natural fold on the ear. Clean them. Get a small part behind the ear where I need to create a connection. <laughs> so now I created this angle. I created this angle, and in the opposite line, I created this angle. Huh. We hebben toch een hoop engel geëngeld. Huh? Engel, engel, engel. Oh, ik ben zo'n engel. Oh, no, I'm not an angel. <laughs> My god, no. I wouldn't pass the exam. <laughs> I'm a god gift. Oh, that's what I am. Coming to the contour. Better clean with my small clipper. And with my razor knife I do it afterwards because it would hurt too much by bleaching the hair and the irritation that it gives because it takes away all the protection of your skin. Mm. Do the same on the asymmetrical short line. You can see this as pre-shaved because afterwards I do it with a razor and then the neckline will be clean on the bone. <laughs> I clicked that after, you know, <laughs> on the skin. <laughs> the last part is that behind the ear. And then I'm ready to color her hair. And to bleach her hair I'm going to use the new bleach of Lanza. What I told you was I'm going to use the new bleach of uh, Lanza. This is a powder bleach and they have also a, a, a bleach that is straight out of the tube. And um, I'm going to use a little bit protection because you have a sh protection shield you can put into the bleach. So you protect the skin from uh, irritating. I'm going to use 6% uh, as 20 volume. And it's um, a very creamy uh, Peroxide, so it gives also a wonderful creamy product. So it works a little bit different than normal powders. And you know when you watch a lot of videos of mine that I always put in a conditioner. And what I can see on the, on the product is that there must be a cream into it because otherwise it would be a powder product and now it's a creamy product. Yeah. Okay, I work first I work on the outgrow and I start with the short sides. Nice thing about the cream into the product is that it don't uh, dry out. Still use my cotton wigs because I love to have uh, space between my plastic foil and my uh, bleach. It's always good and you can get rid of the irritating products that are even in every product so then you have a little bit place to leave them. And you see that the pro product is uh, blue bleach because it gives a little bit violet uh, tones. Now I lay the hair back to watch if I have reached all the hair. Travel over to the short side again 
and because the color is already taken out, color of the hair, you can see the difference between the shades that are a little bit darker when you didn't reach it with the bleach. And here my favorite cotton wigs. I lay them on the contour line. Especially on this short part because there is the plastic foil straight on, on the product. And by the longer parts not necessary because there is a lot of air between it. Close my plastic foil and I think in 20 minutes we'll be back. I tell you if I use the toner or not. Hello, we're back and it took about uh, 25 minutes and we rinsed it out. It just uh, took a silver conditioner, not, uh, not, nothing, not a toner or something like that. And you just see a little bit irritation, but that's because the plastic foil is getting some heat. The thing to do is to clean the contour line. Sounds lovely. <laughs> First product I'm going to use is a um, thickening treatment of Lanza. We'll bring it on there. <laughs> <laughs> then I use a <laughs> combination of smooth and volume. Half and half. Smooths bring out, uh, bring in moist into the hair, and to keep the hairstyle small. And volume because I want to get more volume. And again, come it through the hair. And start blow drying with a, a medium brush on the longest parts. Nice and quiet. Lay there in the lines I just cut. And now I'm coming because I made a freehand style. I have to create minor adjustments to the style. But just minor, nothing more than that. Because it's already perfect. And the last thing I'm going to use is um, a very special oil of Lanza. I love it very much. It's a healing oil. Just take a drop, not any more than that. And it will create a new structure into the hair. And when you use a hairspray, it gives also protection. For the hairspray so it don't get into the hair. I hold the hairstyle very smooth so our hair will be a small hairstyle and with a powder up you can blow it up so create more volume to it and because it's already night here I don't use a hairspray otherwise she has to get it out of her hair again. I don't want that. So this is my new hairstyle for Emmy. You may turn for you and the rest of the world to show the end result. I see how stunning blonde you are. Thank you, my love. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>